Hey, today we're going to be talking about this liquid ivermectin. I have a 500 milliliter bottle here that is 1% sterile solution. And uh, this is Noromectin brand. They come in all different types of uh, brands and quantities. Some are 50, I think 100, 250, 500, and 1,000 milliliters, I believe. So this is for cattle and swine. And the recommended dosages are here, 1 milliliter per 110 pounds of body weight for cattle. And swine is uh, 1 milliliter per 75 pounds of body weight. So this is a video that is going to show you basically what's inside the bottle, the contents, um, how much ivermectin is in this entire bottle, how to calculate dosages, things like that. But I highly recommend following these protocols for your livestock. This video is not going to show you how to inject this into your livestock. It's just going to basically be a product overview of what's in the bottle itself. So um, this is not for human consumption. This is for animals. So and this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Please consult your veterinarian before you, you know the drill. So let's get into this. If you are new to this, what we basically have is we have ivermectin here, a 500 milliliter bottle at 1%. And that basically means that we have one gram of ivermectin that is um, dissolved in each 100 milliliters of solution. So one gram of ivermectin over 100 milliliters of solution gives us 0 0.01 grams. Uh, per milliliter, or basically the number you're looking for is right here. You have 10 milligrams of ivermectin per milliliter. Now, a milliliter, just as a refresher, is like on one of these little syringes that far. That would be a mil milliliter, very small amount. Um, these are just little syringes that you can get here um, at your local pharmacy, or they come with um, pain reliever medication, things like that for infants. So, Keep that in mind, every one milliliter is 10 milligrams of ivermectin in this solution. Again, the dosages for your livestock are right here for cattle and swine. Um, total ivermectin in the entire bottle is, we have one gram of ivermectin that's dissolved per 100 milliliters of solution. Remember that one gram equals a thousand milligrams. So basically we have 100 or one gram of ivermectin per 100 milliliters of solution gives us 0 0.01 grams per milliliter or 10 milli milligrams per milliliter, which we got up here. And then we have 500 milliliters total of solution. If we multiply that by the 10 milligrams per milliliter, and we have 5,000 milligrams of ivermectin in this bottle. The 50 um, milliliter bottle instead of the 500 would have 500 milligrams. So just keep that in mind. Now, if you were thinking after you consulted with your vet, if you wanted to come up with a certain protocol for your livestock that are listed on this bottle, and um, let's say just, just an example so you can see how this works. If you were to have a protocol of one milligram per kilogram of body weight protocol, and let's say the livestock you had that you, were, that you consulted your vet with weighed 128 pounds. If you're in the United States, you'd be dealing with pounds. If you're anywhere else in the world, you're going to be dealing with kilograms. So if you're dealing with kilograms, you just skip this step. But if you're in the United States, you take 128 pounds divided by 2.2. That gives us 58 kilograms. Now that we're in kilograms, we just take our body weight. We multiply it by the protocol, what that's saying, which is 1.0. If your vet cited on a 0.5 protocol or a two or a 2.5, you just plug those numbers in here and you'd get a different result. But for this example, the 58 times one gives us, of course, 58 milligrams of ivermectin that's required for that protocol that you and your vet came up with. We know that 10 milligrams equals one milliliter. 10 milligrams of ivermectin is in one milliliter of the solution. So basically 58 milligrams here divided by the 10 milligrams here per milliliter gives us 5.8 milliliters that's required uh, to reach this protocol. So for example, that would go probably about here on that syringe. Um, and this one, again, it come down to the max here as well. So that's just an example. Um, if you were on the 0.5 milligram, this would, this would be cut in half and you'd be looking at, you know, two and a half roughly something like that. When I travel uh, with my livestock, I know that I have this little 
container here. I know that the cap of this holds 2.5. So that's just a little fun fact for me. Now, if you wanted to see the contents inside the bottle, new bottles look like this, and they come with this aluminum style cap on the top. It kind of feels like the same stuff that a soda can would be made out of. If you wanted to access it, I'll show you what's inside. It's clear. Basically what you do is you pop this top here. I'm not, I'm going to keep this sealed for the time being, because I still have some in here, but you just pull this and rip off the top portion. And that would expose this cap that you can put the needle through for injecting it into your livestock. If you wanted to just be able to see the contents though, if you wanted to visually see them, what you would do is take like a pick, a reamer and all, I took a can opener from a Swiss army knife and I made a little nick in the rim here on the metallic part. And from there, I just took a pair of needle nose pliers and just gently ripped this off in like a circular pattern. And it leaves me with this, which is basically the silicone style cork. Um, and then you can see the contents inside. And you'd be able to access them that way if that's what you needed to do. But if you were looking to just inject, all you have to do is pop this off, that off. So once again, these are the protocols to follow for your uh, cattle and swine, and always consult your vet, your vet for any um, procedures that you plan on doing with your animals. Uh, this is just for educational purposes only and entertainment purposes only. So not for human consumption, just throwing this out there that this is what's inside these bottles of ivermectin. Hopefully this helps you out with learning how to uh, dose them according to whatever protocol you and your vet come up with. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.